So what is a car title certificate of destruction? This is a document that's issued by an insurer with a designation that it's des designated for destruction, meaning that this car is not legal for use on the road ever again. It's not a salvage title, it's not a junk title, it's not a repair title, it's a destruction title, meaning that the insurer is saying this car needs to be destroyed. They do this because of liability. Now, many of these cars come from Copart or IAA auctions or some of the other insurance auctions that exist. In many cases, they sell for very, very cheap. Buyers will look at it and say, I can fix this car up and sell it and make a lot of money on it. However, without the legal title, you can't put it on the road. And sometimes these become like musical chairs, right? The guy buys it from the auction, he finds out he can't do anything with it, and then sells it to somebody else without a title and doesn't disclose that it has a CD or certificate destruction. If you come across one of these cars, the first thing to do is find out where you disclose this information. If you bought it from the auction, you need to find out was it disclosed to you. If it wasn't, you can return it to the auction. If you bought it from a dealer, they have to disclose it from you. If not, you can return it. Look for that method first because in most cases, no matter how much you paid for it, how cheap it is, it's never going to be worth it to try to do something with that car because without a title, you can't even bring it to the junkyard. Now, if you can sell the parts off it to get your money back, maybe that's the way to go. But remember, when you've sold all the parts off it and still have a frame and a chassis and the, the bare bones left, you have to get rid of that. And sometimes that costs money more than what you might have gotten from the parts. In addition, in many cases, it's blocked for export. You can't even export these cars because most countries don't allow them to be imported and the customs of even the US sometimes doesn't allow them to be put on the, uh, the ship to go outside the country. If you've purchased it from what's called a curb stoner, meaning somebody who's not a dealer, just buys and sells cars, you can get a refund by looking at whether or not they have a dealer's license. If somebody sells cars for a living, it doesn't matter how many they sell. If they sell two or three or five and they're doing this for a living, they have to have a license. If they don't have a license and they're operating in the capacity of a dealer without a license, you can turn them in. Most DMVs and state police in the states want to know about this. So rather than have that happen, maybe that person who sold it to you might want to give you your money back and then maybe try to do something else with that car.